All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you how to shower with a hair system. I'm gonna show you how to shampoo it, how to condition it, how to dry your hair after the end, which can also lead into styling. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I'll make another one on that after. So the things that you're gonna need in order to wash your hair system is first you're gonna need a brush. Um, if you have one of these, I know they're cheap. Uh, Everyone probably has one of these, but I don't recommend one of these. What I recommend is one more so like this. And the thing that we're looking for inside of it is uh, this right here has more distance in between each of the, um, sorry, I'm waiting until the camera focuses. It has more distance in between each of the bristles as opposed to this one right here, which has less distance in between the bristles. And the reason for that is because it'll allow more space for the hair to run through and detangle it without pulling it. Um, so let's jump in the shower. I'm about to get naked and let's do this. All right, lesson number one, guys. So when turning on your water, you do not want to have water that is very hot. You want either lukewarm or cold or mildly warm. And the reason for that is hot water can actually damage hair, okay? Now the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to wet my hair, get it completely soaked. And the way that I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to let the water run from the uh, crown of my head down to the front. And the way that I'm going to start to detangle my hair a little bit is I'm going to start brushing through my hair as it gets wet. Watch this. Now that I have my hair nice and wet, the next stage is we're going to take some shampoo. Uh, what I like to take is kind of like a straight line across my hand here. It's go whoop like that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it in between my two hands, not so that it's foamy, but so that I have it on everything. And I'm just going to gently and liberally place it on the hair, the hair system, everything. Um, and I'm just going to move in straight lines here. And the reason for this is I don't want to put pressure. I don't want to scrunch up my hair or anything like that. I just want to uh, let it gently fall into the system. Uh, put no pressure on the bond or the adhesive or anything like that. You always go down from the, uh, I go down from the center of my hair system down to the sides, kind of like this right here. And I gently massage it in. And the way that I massage it is I spread out my hands kind of like this and I just comb it through my hair, if you will. And this just helps to prevent any tangles. So the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit in my hair for a couple seconds uh, just to work and start to clean a little bit. And then immediately after, I'm going to basically do the same process of how I wet my hair and start. I'm going to let that water fall on the crown of my head and brush out the shampoo. So watch. Now, as I'm doing this, I am not pulling on the hair or the hair system. Um, the knots are very, they're not very fragile, but they're fragile. Uh, so you don't want to be pulling hairs out of the hair system by wrenching down on your, your comb. And one of the reasons that I prefer this style that has wider bristles or more distance in between the bristles is it allows it to catch less knots or tangles inside of your hair. If you do have a messy hairstyle, this is going to be something you want to be really careful of um, because you really don't want to get knots and tangle your hair and pull it out. Um, so, so what you're going to do is just gently go through your hair, right? And you see that for me, it's something I don't have to apply any force on. It's just gently coming and straightening out. Um, if you do have tangles in your hair, this is something you're going to want to kind of isolate it. Uh, you don't, you want less of your hair and you're going to want to move slowly and wiggle through your hair kind of like this right here. It'll help to break up the knots and the tangles, which is great. Um, and you want to try to do this with reducing as much of the tension as possible. So another way you can reduce tension if you do have knots in your hair system is 
you can actually kind of brace it. So say the knot is down here. What I might do is I might brace my hair right here, right? And I might start to do the same process right here. And what that does is it actually uh, alleviates the tension on the knots and puts it, you're, you're alleviating it by putting your fingers here and you can start to work through the knots a little bit better. So the next step, of course, is going to be to condition. Now, this right here, you do not need a lot of conditioner to get this job done, okay? I really only apply about a dime size piece in my hand, maybe a little bit more, and I do the same thing. I rub it on my hands right here. And um, what I do is I, I'm a little bit more ginger, a little bit more gentle on my hair as I'm applying conditioner, because you don't want to get this down in the knots. Um, so I don't really rub it in. I just kind of lay it on the surface, if you will. Kind of like this, you can see that I'm just gently moving it through my hair. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit there. I'm going to let it sit there for about 30 seconds. And the reason that I let it sit for about 30 seconds is because I really wanted to condition the hair. I want it to moisturize the hair. Remember, um, this is not necessarily receding all the oils from our scalp uh, like normal hair does. And it's also not real hair growing from us. Um, this is transplanted hair that's put it in a unit. So, uh, we want to really moisturize this hair and take care of it, that way it lasts a long time. That's one way you can make your unit last longer and keep it looking fresh. So now, I'm going to do the same exact thing with the conditioner. I'm going to put the water on my crown, um, and I'm going to let it come down to the front of the unit, and I'm going to use my brush in order to get the conditioner out. So watch. essentially it guys. Um, my hair is washed now. It's taken care of. Um, but the next step after that is how do you dry your hair? So let's jump over to that. All right guys, step one of drying your hair is you're going to grab a, uh, a towel. Um, so you can see I've got mine right here. Now what you're going to do is, uh, well what we don't want to do is we don't want to put tension on the hair system. We don't want to tangle it. We don't, gone are the days of us just going with our hands rubbing it out, uh, don't rub it out. Um, we can't do that anymore. We have to be careful with the hair system, with the hair. Uh, we wanna be protective over it, gentle. Uh, this is gonna make sure that our unit lasts longer and ultimately that uh, we take care of our hair better. So what we do with this towel, right, is you're going to basically put it over the top of your head and you're going to, uh, gonna basically try to squeeze some of the water out of the system and what that looks like is this so I'm going to put it over my unit like this and I'm basically going to put pressure on the sides down here so that way the uh, the force is spread evenly over the entire head um, and what it's going to do is it's going to absorb some of the moisture throughout the unit so watch all right so I've got some of, of the uh, some of the moisture out of the hair now um, but there's still a ton in it, obviously, you can see, and this is not the desired look that I want to have when I'm styling my hair. Um, in general, you know, if you pat down your hair, you know, this might be okay if I just want to have a over the top of the forehead look. Um, but that's not really what I'm going for. And most styles will not require that. It's going to require that you start styling it as you brush your hair. And this is one of the biggest differentiators between... Um, a hairstyle and a hair system that looks good and one that doesn't, right? So what you're gonna need now is you're gonna need a, um, a hair dryer. Um, this is going, I'm gonna show you how I do mine and how I get the style that I go for. This is not the style for, this is not the way that you do it for every single type of hairstyle, okay? So keep that in mind. But I'm gonna walk you through the steps and hopefully you'll learn some things. So I've got my hair dryer right here. Um, I like to have a cap on it like this, and what it does is it redirects the 
the airflow so that it's a little bit thinner of a pattern as opposed to blowing everywhere. I can control it a little bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and what you're gonna see me do is I'm going to start, I'm gonna start blow drying the top over here. I'm gonna start blowing it a little bit off to the side because I kind of do this little side swept thing. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm also going to be blowing the hair back a little bit because I like to create a little bit of volume up front. Uh, so I like, it's it's swept over, it's pushed up, and it's just kind of got this look to it, right? So you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. And what I do use on the air, uh, the hair dryer here is I use warm air or cool, but I prefer warm. And then I use a low, uh, low on the mode of the, the hair dryer instead of high. Um, and I don't, I try to keep it away from my head at least about 12 inches. Sometimes I'll go a little bit closer, but the thing that you want to be careful of is one, very hot heat from the hair dryer because they do get hot. And two, it being closer because the, the closer it is, the hotter it is, even on low setting. So be mindful of that stuff, watch. So you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of volume inside of my hair. It's not really the look I'm going for, just quite. But um, you're, you can see that the, the, the hair is starting to take on a little bit of a different look up here, um, which is what we're going for. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stare at this mirror right here so I can see myself a little bit and I can watch. Watch what I'm doing. I'm kind of like setting up the style, you know, cause I, I like to part my hair halfway, not halfway through the hair system, but a little bit through the hair system. So that way it blends in on the side and you know, I'm starting to create the shape of the hair as I'm drying it, watch. So you can see more volume is getting up in here. Um, what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm actually going to use my leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna put it in the hair. And the reason that I do this is because uh, I have some dry, I have like heavy water here at the house and it just kind of, it really um, weighs down the hair. And I feel like it, uh, it feels not unhealthy, but uh, leave-in conditioner is something you always wanna use because it's always, going to nourish your hair even when you're out of the shower. You want those oils, you want it to be conditioned. So I recommend you do the same. I'm about to show you how I do it. All right, I got my leave-in conditioner right here. Uh, I love this stuff so much. It smells so good. <laughs> it's honestly like one of my favorite things about doing this every single day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually spray this all over. And I like to uh, run my actual hands through it here. Uh, you can use your brush if you so desire. But I'm pretty liberal with this stuff. Um, I think we can always condition our unit. It's not gonna hurt it to put more leave-in conditioner in it than less. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over it with the hair dryer one more time. Uh, and then I'm gonna probably start styling it a little bit more by hand. All right, I'm probably about to disappear a little bit below the camera. <laughs> the reason for that is that uh, I kind of do this thing. I'm gonna try to show it to you right now. What I like to do is I like to bend over um, and I like to actually, 
Uh, I like to kind of work my hands through my hair as I'm hair drying it. It adds a little bit of volume to it. Um, and it just helps add a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna try to show you by, let's see. So there we go, okay. So I'm gonna do it like this right here. I'm usually more bent over than this, but what I'm gonna do. right here. Um, now if you're wondering what I did right there with my hands, the hand movement is I kind of, as I'm blow drying my hair, right, I'm scrunching my hair like this. Um, now I'm careful not to create tangles in it, which is probably what you're wondering. What I'm doing is I'm almost kind of like encouraging the hair to have volume as it's being blown into, that way it retains that shape. Uh, you, this isn't something where I'm like grabbing the hair and like pulling it and like very aggressively. It's more just like a very gentle massage, if you will. Uh, but as you can see, um, you know, this is starting to take shape. It's not perfect. Uh, I'm gonna finish up right now and then I'm gonna show you the end product. So stick around. Well, everybody, here's kind of what the final hairstyle looks like. Um, as you can see, it's still a little bit wet right now, but uh, overall, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. It has a nice look to it, uh, blends in well, and looks like it's well taken care of. So if this is something you needed, please like, comment, subscribe. I mean, I just did a whole video basically butt naked for you to show you how to shower, condition, shampoo, and dry your hair. All right, talk to you soon.